hey cancer so the messages i was getting for you guys was somebody wants you to commit or vice versa i was really feeling like they want you to commit or want you to make a decision on uh, pretty much where you guys stand in the connection also um i was getting new love could be coming in i was getting a strong fire energy aries Leo, sagittarius so the first cards out we have the four of wands and the three of swords i definitely feel the three of swords this is my third party card so i definitely feel like you could be debating between someone and someone else and they found out about it or maybe you found out about um maybe somebody juggling you and somebody else now we do have the four of wands here i do feel like somebody could have found out about marriage or somebody really wants somebody to commit yeah we have the three of cups so there's definitely a third party situation going on here a lot of you guys can be dealing with another cancer a leo i'm also getting strong pisces energy Reverse, what is the energy surrounding cancer? A lot of you guys can be seeing 333 around a lot. We have the moon card. So this is secrets. There could be a, a, an air sign that's keeping secrets from you. An Aries Leo. Well, I guess it could be a fire sign, but Gemini Libra Aquarius. There could be somebody that's keeping a um, secret from you. We do have the tower card here. So I think you're going to find out about this. Strong Gemini energy with the magician. Somebody I do feel is trying to manipulate you into thinking something, into believing something. I do feel like if somebody's trying to keep a third party a secret, but you intuitively know um, that something is going on, you're right. Okay. So the Ace of Cups. This is new love coming in. So strong Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn or an Aries that is coming in for you. This is the energy surrounding Cancer. Uh, yeah queen of pentacles taurus Virgo, capricorn energy i definitely feel like this could be the new love coming in this earth sign but i do feel like a lot of you could be holding on to a situation that is not healthy or somebody could be holding on to you i do feel a lot of regret around the situation i really feel like a lot of you are going to find out about a third party but with the moon card here i feel like you already knew about it okay. clarify the four of wands I see jealousy here as well. I do feel like, and also it's like a friend. There could be a friend that's jealous of you. That's a random message. Um, I'm also getting the person that you're with. It could be jealous. Like maybe they feel as if you have them in a third party or something like that. We do have justice, clarifying the four of wands. So I'm also feeling like justice is like karma. It's getting something that you deserve. So I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, for some of you, whoever you're dealing with deserves to get caught. And I feel like they are going to get caught. Also, I do feel like a lot of you deserve this new love that's coming in with the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Three of Swords. Okay, yeah. Devil with the King of Swords. So, I'm almost feeling like somebody... You could, you could find out about this situation. You could see it very clearly. Oh, shit. You could see it very clearly what's going on. King of Swords, he sees shit very, very clearly. We have the Devil card here, so you could definitely see somebody... Um, Pretty much for who they truly are, devil is overindulgent. So someone could definitely be overindulging in multiple women, options, you know, messaging multiple people. Strong Capricorn energy here. Um, I feel like you're going to see so much true color, someone that you've been dealing with. But I do feel intuitively that you intuitively already knew. Okay. Clarify the three of cups. Okay, wow. Ace of cups. Yeah, oh, this is crazy. I almost feel like... I feel like somebody is going to get mad. It could be a Leo. Somebody's going to get mad about you having a new option come in. I'm almost getting, for some of you guys, you can have this new option come in. You may be like, oh, okay, yeah, they're cool. But I do feel like this is a genuine option for you. The fact that the Ace of Cups is here twice, um, there's definitely new love coming in for you. However, I feel like this person, they could almost expose their self. The one that you've been dealing with, they could be like, oh, shit, hello. They could um, be like, oh, well, I've been talking to this other bitch anyway. So it's almost like they're going to, they're going to like tell on themselves, the person that you're currently dealing with, just because this new person like flirts with you or messages you or matches with you on Tinder or some shit. It's almost like they're going to make a huge deal out of it. Clarify the moon. Hello. Clarify the moon. Okay. I just got pregnant. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Or have some around that, somebody close to you be pregnant. We do have the Queen of Wands here. Somebody could be high into Leo with the Queen of Wands with the Five of Wands, Leo energy. Somebody could be jealous of you, could be a Leo or a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries. Clarify the Tower. 
I do feel like somebody could be hiding a fire sign from you or hiding some information from you. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius. We have a temperance card here. I'm also feeling like whatever happens or whatever did happen between you two, you're going to heal from it very quickly. You're going to move on very quickly because it's almost like the answer to a question you already knew the answer to. So it's like you, I feel like you've already gone through the pain of dealing with whatever this was because you already kind of knew this was happening. And this message is only for like, probably not all of you, so don't freak out and think your person's cheating on you. But if this message is resonating, there is a third party here for sure. And somebody's trying to hide it. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Hello. All right, so we have the Emperor. So strong Aries energy coming in. This is somebody that's very responsible. I don't know, I'm getting very responsible energy from them. They could be very good looking. Um, very financially well off. I do feel like when you meet them, this is new love coming into your life. And I do feel like they have feelings for you. So if you are talking to a new person, it doesn't have to be an Aries. But um, if you are talking to a new person and they seem like uninterested or just like holding back a little bit they are very interested in you but i do feel like they take things very slow when it comes to new connections clarify the queen of pentacles Oops. <clears throat> clarify the queen of pentacles damn you have the tower again with the ace of wands yeah i feel like this new in the queen of pentacles so there's an earth sign strong earth energy and i feel like this earth energy taurus for capricorn could be the person that's coming in out of nowhere this new love i don't feel like you know this person out of nowhere and it's going to surprise you we have the tower card with the ace of wands it's a surprise new beginning out of the blue when you least expect it new beginning and I clarify the world it's almost like a cycle could be ending between you and somebody else and one like immediately begins clarify the world it's almost like you're not even interested looking for new love nothing like that and this person comes into your life clarify the world card okay so the Eight of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys, this is a very, I don't feel like this reading is about love, for the, but just for these two cards, I have to say a lot of you guys could be getting a new job or getting a new job offer like very soon. I'm also getting, the Eight of Pentacles is a card of, it's a card of success, but it's a card of like doing something that you're good at, like something that you create. So a lot of you guys could be creating new things. If you have the interest of creating something, starting something, a business, you know, a project, YouTube channel, whatever it is, definitely do so. Because I be I see it being very profitable for you. Okay. Clarify the five of cups. Why is the five of cups here for cancer? Okay. The strength card. Wow, I like the five of cups and the strength card together. Because it's almost like... For one, I feel like this Five of Cups energy is not going to last long. I feel like this could be you upset about something, but I feel like it's not going to last long because I feel like you've already kind of dealt with it in a sense because you already knew what was going on. So I do see it getting over whatever you find out or whatever you see with your own eyes quickly. So, what is the advice for cancer? What is the advice for cancer? Okay. Wow. So we have the Sun card. The Queen of Fire and the Fool. So I'm really getting right now with the Queen of Fire and the Sun. Do whatever you need to do. And even if it doesn't seem like you'll be happy right now, do whatever you need to do for your own happiness. So if it's cutting out this person, um, not dealing with whoever's bullshit right now, definitely do so. We do have the Fool cards. This is a card of a new beginning. Also a card of, I feel like, unexpected change. So I really feel like the advice here is to really allow like in love life, I mean, I guess in life in general, but especially love life, um, change. Allow something new and be okay with not knowing what's going to happen. So anyway, Cancer, I hope this was a good reading for you. If you'd like a personal reading, this is information down below on how you could get one and enjoy the rest of your week.